does so many, many things for me that uh, I never could pay him what he is worth to me. If you don't watch it, you're going to just be in a little apartment in your favorite chair. You forget that there's another world out there. And he brings that world in to me. Well, this is my senior companion, Vince Clausen, and he's been with me nine years. He's my brother. <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's been so, so, so wonderful. You hold yeah. that. You now hold we that. go down and get our groceries. Yeah, yeah, All that. winter, I'm housebound. And, of course, now the weather's getting nice. We're going, aren't we, Vince? Oh, yeah, you bet, you bet. <laughs> we even went up to Stillwater on the bus before I was too disabled. Remember that, too? Oh, you betcha. I <laughs> surely do. That was great. Yeah. You know? They help you. Now, like, if I say, hey, I'm running out of pop, he goes over to the SA station and gets it for me, see? When I have my eyes tested, they dilate, then I'm completely blind. And then he stays with me there, and then we go have lunch. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's nice because... Because the more you, you uh, stay with the program, the more you get involved with people, the more you learn to love people. I say it's the best job I ever had. <laughs> he's an all right man, that one. A companion, that's what he is. He's, he's a companion. Yeah. About five years ago, she says, you know, I think I deserve a hug, she said. But Oh, I says, by golly, you know, I think we both deserve a hug. So every time now when I leave, why we get up and she gives me, and you can see you can get a good hug out of her. <laughs> and she gets a good hug out of me. You take care, take care. So uh, I, I find it very rewarding. And uh, I really do love my senior companion clients, uh, all of them. The Senior Companion Program provides the opportunity for limited income seniors to be a resource to homebound seniors so that they can stay independent and don't have to go to nursing homes. The magic that happens when you connect two people, someone who has time to give and someone who has needs, who's lonely, who's isolated, that magic makes this program work. It's, it's because of the peer relationship. I, I'm convinced that's what the magic is, because uh, you, you've got a homebound senior that really needs attention. Their aches and pains get worse because of their loneliness, and now somebody is assigned to them as kind of a personal one-to-one -one friend, and it just sparkles. They just feel so good that somebody is taking the time to come over and, and visit them. Well, we have a very close relationship. She tells me everything. Then she said, I miss you so much when you go. I'd be so glad when you come back. Where you been? She's 90, so if she doesn't have a companion to help her, she would have to go in the nursing home because you isn't able to take care of her. Well, Kenya says, I, I'm holding the family together. So I don't know what we'll do if you have to go. <laughs> what we're asking you to do is taking this information, which is on one sheet in English and in Spanish, into the home of your client. They go through a rigorous training program before they even become companions. We talk to them about issues that they will confront. So yes, you could address it and say, you know, we need a fire plan. They get continuous ongoing in-service training every month so that they can be up on what the latest uh, resources are for their clients in their particular community and then be able to share that with the clients that they serve. They all have one door. They know they have to go out through that door. But my concern is, are they going to be able to get out in time? I can give you an example here from in Minnesota, where we started out basically with a $100,000 federal grant in 1974. Today, we're looking at a program where the federal amount of the, going into the grant is only 30%. And that means the community, the state, uh, local counties are really investing in this program and see the value of this program. It's indispensable to me. I, I, I don't want to put Mother in a rest home. I cannot meet all of her needs. And the fact that I'm here 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, throughout the entire year, you know, one month after another, sometimes you get really, really tired. and. 
a big part of it is just, you're just physically worn out, but then there's an emotional draining because I'm her daughter. She draws on me a lot for her emotional needs. And Tommy helps to, to shoulder some of those needs for me. I heard about the senior companions and I thought it would be something nice to be able to help people that needed help. She's my last saver. Her name is Tommy Zine, I think, but I call her Tommy because she doesn't have anything my age, 81, and she's about 50 <laughs> or less. Or more. <laughs> well, she's all right, whatever she is. She's wonderful. She's a friend, a real friend. I'll hear them down here just chatting away and just enjoying one another. And it helps her to have a better quality of life, basically. And it helps my quality of life, too. Phoenix has been recognized all over the world for finding innovative solutions to complicated community problems. We know that we don't have all the resources to meet all the need. So you, you, you partner with other organizations uh, to leverage each other's resources to meet the needs in the community. We were very excited to work in a partnership with a city like Phoenix, first of all, um, to establish that private public sector uh, program. I think last year we had 85,000 hours donated by individuals for this senior companion program. And of course, AT&T allows us with their revenues to kind of structure that to make sure we can get the maximum volunteer time possible. As I entered the workforce, the most important thing uh, to us uh, when we were considering a family was child care. It has quickly evolved as my career has gone on that senior care seems to be the biggest issue, one, on my mind and I think on the mind of our employees. I think it causes all of us a great deal of pain to think about our family being institutionalized. It's costly to put someone in long-term care, uh, $38,000 for long-term care per year versus $3,800 per year for a senior companion. And it's not just the cost, it's what you get. I'm convinced that this program is a net cost saver for a community because seniors without the companion program need a lot of services that are provided directly by the public sector. We saw this as a creative way to deal with the future needs of our employees, uh, invest in our community, invest in our people, and then also get a return on that investment. You know, the absolute success of these programs today are no longer related to just the government driving the process. Uh, successes are all about everybody pulling together. I think we have to step up to the table, uh, introduce innovative ways of providing services to the older adults in this nation. We owe it to them. I get more, I think, than I give to them. <laughs> I really do. That's one of my uh, sayings, but it's true. And I, I love to, I love to work with them. You know how I got into it? Like, uh, my mother was bedridden for four years, and one of the nurses that came in, she arranged for a companion. I had the companion coming in then twice a week, and that meant a lot to me. I got to cry. <laughs> so then I swore after that, when my mother passed away, that I'd go into this. I did. I, I figured out when I had the companion what it meant to me. And I hope it means the same to my clients and their families. <laughs>